Wrestling fans, thanks for clicking today's Dreda D. Rose report. All right, got about two days worth of news to keep up uh, uh, with here, so let's get started. Chris Jericho's Wikipedia page, believe it or not, was edited uh, yesterday morning and said it passed away. Jericho swears up and down he hadn't. So anyway, he said just another Wikipedia hoax. And uh, Darren Young, I guess, suffered uh, an apparent, apparent knee injury or an ankle injury, something like that, at live uh, Mexico event down in uh, uh, Texas. He tweeted the following. He says, Darren Young doing fine. Just pass along that tweet. And uh, Miami Marlins pitcher, um, well, no, he's first baseman, I guess, Garrett Jones. He's going to be honoring the ultimate warrior during this season by using the Warriors theme music to walk to the plate at home games. And noted before um, that WWE is going to be doing a tribute to the Warrior on Monday's Raw, uh, tonight's Raw from Birmingham, Alabama. Some guys are now listing the show as WWE pays tribute to the Warrior. Uh, the Warrior tribute special, uh, that is, now you might want to take a note of this, scheduled to air on Wednesday night on WWE Network will actually be a four-part series. Uh, noted before, WWE and had cameras following a warrior and his family around all over New Orleans, I guess, and some of that footage, footage most likely be used. And uh, WWE Network will um, debut another four-part series titled WrestleMania 30 Fallout. And this is going to be featuring different matches of post uh, interviews uh, from the show. And the first part will air Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time before the main event airs. Got it? All right, I also heard reports that uh, uh, the WWE new Ultimate Warrior DVD and Blu-ray being sold uh, out in North American stores. I must have missed that even being uh, released. Must be, maybe it was last Tuesday or so. I'm not sure. I'll have to check on it and let you know. And WWE website uh, notes that Nikki Bella, Cameron, Naomi, Natalia, Marie, John Cena, Tyson Kidd, Jimmy Uso, and Cicero were all present for Daniel Bryan's and Marie Bella's uh, wedding. That was in uh, Sedona, Arizona. That was on Friday. And we also know that uh, NXT trainer Sarah Del Rey was in attendance, and uh, she'd been rumored to be dating or engaged to Cicero. For what it's worth, uh, Cicero uh, has uh, also been friends with Bryan for years. Not sure whether they were on the uh, independent scene, you know, like tagging or just foes. And there was a lot of feeling backstage at WrestleMania 30 that Vince McMahon and others did not get the fan reaction they were looking for when Taker lost to Brock Lesnar. You think? The shock was there, but may, they may have been looking for more appropriate send-off for Taker, which I thought was, if that's going to be his last match, that was ridiculous. I don't really think it's going to be his last match. It just ended the streak. But that was just... The horrible Taker just dragging his, you know, cell, you know, his carcass out of the ring. Couldn't stand up, and and it went on for a long time. Of course, he was injured, I know, but um, I mean, with the uh, well, any of the people like uh, when he wrestled uh, Ric Flair and Shawn Michaels, man, they had a, a little like a retirement thing. They had a bigger send off for them than they did Taker. They didn't do no music. They didn't. I don't know, it was just horrible. Former WWE diva Eve Torres and her uh, fiancé, Grenier Gracie, uh, they were getting married, uh, I think it was Saturday. WWE Toys R Us are uh, running a new Instagram contest. Fans must follow the Instagram accounts of WWE and Toys R Us. So, and then post photos of themselves in inside Toys R Us stores with WWE Toys and hashtag True superstars, T R U superstars. Anyway, the grand prize is a thousand bucks gift card for uh, Toys R Us, and they're also going to be giving out twenty-five one hundred dollars gift cards, which uh, I'd take them. WWE Studios Oculus opened up over the weekend by five million over the weekend, it's, uh, which is good for a WWE movie, and it currently has over seventy percent on uh, Rotten Tomatoes. Which also uh, <clears throat> a first for a WWE movie. Oculus finished uh, about number three behind Rio and uh, Captain America, but uh, it was kind of a distant third in uh, money. 
And another TNA veteran has left the, left the company. Chris Saban's contract expired, and his uh, last official date with the company was Saturday night's uh, one night only pay per view taping. Uh, I don't know how that's going to go over pay per view taping. It seems like that's going to cut the buys down really bad on that. Anyway, TNA made uh, Saban an offer, but it was uh, similar to the situation they did with AJ Styles, and it was not uh, an offer that he was happy with. Saban's uh, already reaching out to indie groups for taking bookings. And uh, NXT's uh, veterans, others that they may leave, could be Daniels and Orcasarian or both. All right, uh, <laughs> catch this. The opening match of last night's WWE live event in uh, Texas, Zed Kohler helped Jack Swagger win the IC title from Big E Langston. But the decision was quickly reversed by Raw General Manager Brad Maddox, and said the match uh, got restarted and leading to the Big E win and he retained the title. So Swagger was champion for about that long, illegally though. And tonight's Raw is going to be taking place uh, from the BJCC in Birmingham, Alabama. No match has been announced, but we're going to have the tribute uh, to the Warrior on it. Focusing points for tonight's show is going to be how will Triple H punish Daniel Bryan and The Shield? Will Paige be ready to fight uh, for her newly won championship? And uh, where does Rob Van Dam go from here? And will Cicero benefit from working with Paul Heyman? And can John Cena somehow combat the eerie allure of the Wyatt family? Oh, I don't think he can, do you? No. TNA announced on their social media page uh, that more contract renewals uh, will be announced soon. So not everybody's leaving. Uh, Kurt Angle tweeted the following about the rumors this weekend. He said, rumors, that they haunt you and you can't do anything about them except prove them wrong. I don't know what that means. Anyway, the Tennessee has got a new article up looking at Jeff Jarrett and his Global Force Wrestling promotion. The article notes that Jarrett is the largest, is the largest TNA shareholder uh, in TNA except uh, right next to Panda Energy, let's say. That's the money people right now, uh, but doesn't believe that there's a conflict of interest with his, when he launches his new federation. TNA spokesman confirmed Jared is still the shareholder, but uh, would not comment on his federation. And internal reaction to Eric Young winning the TNA World Heavyweight title is people's happy for him and he's a hard worker, but there's a negative feeling overall. He's just been too goofy, is what it is. Just having a really goofy guy as champion is, I don't know. Anyway, maybe he might be good at it. Episode of TNA, Deal With It, uh, not TNA, but the episode of TBS, Deal With It, featuring Chris Jericho, is going to be airing uh, this Wednesday night, 10.30 Eastern Standard. I don't know if you've ever seen the Goldbergs uh, TV show, but uh, it's, it's pretty good. It's comedy. I think it takes place, I don't know when, in the 80s, but I think it's in the 80s. This kid runs around with a great big camcorder on his shoulder every once in a while. But anyway, the ABC uh, sitcom Goldberg is going to be doing a wrestling-themed episode May 6th on Wednesday. Creator Adam Goldberg, which the show is supposedly after his real family. Anyway, he's been pursuing WWE for the rights for some footage from uh, the first four WrestleMania events uh, that they use on their special. And regarding Triple H taking over more power in WWE, it's said that Triple H is very open to to re-referencing the internet and responding to ICW fans though cre uh, through creative bookings though and uh, promos while Vince McMahon ignored the internet completely. He was acting like it wasn't there. Alright, some people are excited, some not. As noted, uh, WWE's got about 660,000 subscribers to the network after uh, on the day after WrestleMania 30 and as reported I have seen the pay-per-view buys yet. I've been kind of interested in that. See how uh, how it went down. It might have. Anyway, it was reported a week before that number came out that the investment community was going to be satisfied with one million subscribers, but analysts uh, were predicting a lot more. And there was a feeling that the number below 850 wouldn't be a good sign, but could be workable. And the investment community is expected to... Uh, uh, more growth over the years with the idea that uh, whatever was announced would be three or four times within that uh, within the a few years 
and it said that the number of 650 would not be a good, would not be good. And uh, but anyway, that number uh, was not seen as a failure, but the major disappointment on Wall Street and those in the company. All right, Jeff Jarrett turns 47 years old. He see, you see where am I at? Uh, oh, Lita turns 39 years old. Also, this would have been the birthday. 50 years old. WCW, WWE star Brian Adams. 50. And no to Darren Young. He said he had a sprained ankle and uh, didn't work the last night's uh, main event. Or, I mean, uh, live event in Chattanooga. John Cena Bray Wyatt is. Uh, Heading for the Extreme Rules match, I do believe, and it's advertised for 2014 Extreme Rules, which takes place May 4th, Izod Center, East Rutherford. While the match is not set officially, the usual character is going to be there also. Former uh, TNA star Jesse Neal and his girlfriend, former Brittany uh, Savage wrestler, became uh, welcomed their first baby into the world on Saturday, Brooklyn Gazelle uh, Neal. Born at 1 a.m. And WWE, uh, two senior officials to Arizona. WWE sent two senior officials to Arizona to help Ultimate Warrior's wife, Dana, following uh, Warrior's unexpected death this past week. And according to a report by TMZ, the company sent two employees almost immediately after Warrior's death uh, with the task of helping Dana with the two, uh, with uh, the young things, uh, with the little things such as groceries and shopping and uh, informing the family members uh, you know just helping them out so they can focus more on the daughters thanks for clicking you guys i gotta go